Hey guys, it's Melanie, and so today I'm going to share with you my top five Yankee Candle picks for the fall and actually leading into like holiday time. So I did a top, what was it, eight picks for like Bath and Body Works. <laughs> and then yesterday I uploaded a video about my top uh, Scentsy picks. I think I picked eight for Scentsy as well. Um, so I will list those videos down below in case you missed them. Um, before I get into the favorites, I did change up my background just a little bit. So I'll move out of the way. I, it is not lost on me that in the YouTube world, it seems to be important to have a background that is somewhat aesthetically pleasing. Um, in the past, I've always had my treadmill behind me. This is a very practical room for me. I certainly haven't always like centered it around making YouTube videos because making YouTube videos is not my full-time job. This is just a really fun hobby and a great outlet for me. Um, but I do get a fair amount of comments, you know, making suggestions about improving my videos and a lot of suggestions have definitely centered around cleaning up the background a little bit. So um, I'm willing to do that. So this is by no means finished. Um, I basically just kind of switched everything in the room around a little bit. The bed is now obviously up against this wall here and I moved the treadmill over here more in the corner so that it is no longer in anyone's line of sight. Um, I still have some great hopes of improving this room even further. I'd like to actually get a shelving unit for behind me here. Um, I need to take a trip to Ikea to do that. And I actually want to refinish this piece um, over here that the TV is sitting on. I've been meaning to refinish that for like literally years. It's a piece from Ikea. I don't remember the line that it's from, but I want to paint that white. Um, I sort of want everything in this room to be either navy or white. The walls, despite looking maybe black sometimes, they're actually like a deep, deep navy. And we are going to be coming into this room here very shortly to change out all of the trim and put in crown molding. And I think that's gonna help it look a little bit more polished and finished as well. So lots more changes coming. Once I get this to a little bit more of like a finished space, I will definitely do like a room tour. Not that it's gonna be like some fantastic or great room tour, but um, yeah, so this room just serves several different purposes in our house. It's sort of my getting ready space. It's my filming space. It's my workout space. It's our guest room. It is a room where hopefully I plan to start doing some workout DVDs or something. So I actually have a little bit more space behind me now to be able to do that. So that was sort of another reason for a little bit of the change up is so that I could give myself a little bit more space in case I wanted to not in case I want to, I need to at some point <laughs> start doing some um, serious working out, especially with the holidays coming up. I don't want to be one of those people that packs on like 15 pounds because I eat during the holidays. I love me some cookies. <laughs> so if I'm going to indulge in the cookies. I'm going to need to get my workout on. All right. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into my Yankee Candle favorites. All right, so first one is not going to come as any surprise. I have talked about this time and time again. I have probably talked it to death. It is cranberry chutney. If you haven't heard the story about this, brief synopsis. I used to work at the mall right after I graduated from high school in 1997. God, that's a really long time ago. Um, and one of my clients came in and she had this candle in her bag and I could like smell it wafting out of the bag and I was like, what is that? And she told me and on my break, I went to Yankee Candle and bought my first cranberry chutney. I love this. This is a fruit candle. Um, it's a very sweet, tart cranberry chutney. There's just like this little tiny hint of maybe like orange or something but it's mostly just cranberries, like fresh cranberries that you put on a stove and you add just a crap ton of sugar and you just like cooked that and cooked it and cooked it and eventually you were left with this amazing, delicious cranberry chutney. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> 
This is one of my favorite things to eat during the holidays, not the candle, cranberry chutney. So of course this is going to be a number one love for me. This is something that actually gets me through to even Christmas. So I adore this candle. I will never ever be without it. I just, I love it. I can't say enough good things about cranberry chutney. If you've never smelled it, you must go smell it and buy like a tart and just burn it. It just, it's just magic. To me, it's holiday magic. It reminds me of home. It reminds me of my mom. It just is, it's perfection in my book. Okay, second favorite. And after the cranberry chutney, these are not in any particular order. Okay, apple pumpkin. I think this is a fall must have. Now this is something that towards like the end of November, I start getting a little bit tired of. Um, but it is just so lovely. It is like a quintessential fall scent. It smells like pumpkins. Um, it smells like apples. And then it's got like the fall spices in there, like the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove. You just get kind of a mix of all of that. And it smells amazing. I really enjoy this candle. And I've had this for a couple of seasons now. You can see that Yankee Candle just, they burn forever. Um, so this is one that I have always enjoyed um, for quite some time. And I will absolutely repurchase another one as soon as I actually go through this one. Um, sugared apple. So this is one that really I actually started burning like as early as September. Um, this to me screams fall, but then it also totally I could see myself burning it like even through Christmas time. This smells like you are baking like a tart apple in the oven and you've sprinkled sugar over the top of it. That is exactly what this smells like to me. It is Oh, it's so amazing. It's so sweet. It's so unique. I didn't find out about this candle until the semi-annual sale this past June at Yankee Candle, and I stocked up on this sucker because it is phenomenal. I just cannot say oh, enough good things about this candle. I am madly in love with this, and I'm glad that I have several backups of it. I've already gone through an entire jar of this. That's kind of unheard of in Yankee Candle land. Um, and I went through it fairly quickly because I just kept burning it and burning it and I just adore this scent. It's delicious, it's sweet, it's apple-y, it's just, it's apples and sugar baking in the oven. It is delicious. It doesn't have the spices from like an apple pie, it's just the sugar, like caramelized yummy sugar. Oh. I cannot stop smelling this one. Okay, this is another one that just reminds me of home. This is Autumn Wreath, and Autumn Wreath is a candle that very much reminds me of my mom. Um, when I was in high school, my mom was crazy into crafting, and so there were many trips to Michael's, and sometimes this totally reminds me of a Michael's, because you know how they just have this like potpourri of like spiciness? <laughs> that they spray on you as soon as you walk in the door at Michael's. That's kind of what this reminds me of, but a little bit more unique. Um, I can smell some apple in this, but it's basically just a bunch of fall spices. So nutmeg, sugar, cinnamon. There's even like a hint of like clove. It just is, it just is fall. And it just is my mom. This reminds me so much of home and of my mom and I'm very close with my mother, and so anything that reminds me of her is just going to be an automatic love of mine. And this is another candle that I've definitely had for a couple of seasons, and these just burn so incredibly uh, slowly, which is a good thing in that they last forever, but a bad thing in that sometimes you just want to, like, finish a candle. And it's hard to do that with Yankee because it seems like the seasons just go by too fast <laughs> to actually finish one of these up. So... With this one, this is one that like around mid-November I kind of tend to put away because I start to favor more of like the cranberry chutney and the sugared apple type scents from Yankee. So, but this is definitely one that I think is worth seeking out. Um, this is in the food and spice section at Yankee Candle. Um, by the way, all of these on the little labels have the little um, like indicator basically of like what collection they belong to in the store. So sugared apple is another food and spice. Um, cranberry chutney is in the 
fruit section. Um, and then the apple pumpkin is in the food and spice. So I appear to lean more towards the food and spice <laughs> than anything else. And then the last one I'm going to mention is really more of like a holiday scent. Um, I'm obsessed with Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year. I can't wait to put my Christmas tree up. I have a fake Christmas tree. And I realize for some people that's blasphemy. Um, it's not for me because I am OCD about my Christmas tree. Like it needs to be perfect. Like each branch needs to like be just the right length. It needs to be just fluffy enough. I am crazy when it comes to my Christmas tree. I'll do a Christmas tree tour this year. I get kind of nutty about it. I have actually told Craig, so Craig loves, um, <laughs> he would prefer to have a real tree. So I told him that this year he is more than welcome to go get a real tree. It's, it's going to be like a smaller tree and it's going to be Stella's tree. So we're going to let Stella decorate her own Christmas tree every single year and mommy will have her perfect Christmas tree. That probably sounds like crazy talk to most of you. Like, why would you have true Christmas trees? But I, um, I'm not one of those people that can just let my child decorate my tree. That probably puts me in the bad mom department, but I don't really care. Stella will have her own beautiful real tree and I will clean up all of the little pine needles <laughs> that fall off of it. So because I have a fake tree, I always seek out candles that um, have a Christmas tree type scent to them. And in the, in the past, I have burned a village candle, I think it's a balsam fir candle, and I am basically done with that one. I think I have like another like two or three hours worth of burn out of that one, so I knew this year it was time to pick up something else. And I opted for White Christmas. Now this is in the festive uh, section of Yankee Candle. Um, White Christmas has a beautiful label, so it's basically just a church in the snow. Um... I'm not going to lie, I sort of fell in love with the label first, and then when I smelled it, I was like, ah, this is a great Christmas tree candle, because it smells like Christmas tree and a little something else. I can't quite put my finger on what it is, and of course I don't have my iPad up here to look up the actual notes, but it smells like Christmas tree and maybe like a hint of orange almost. But I really just smell tree. Like that's the main thing that I get from this. And I have a feeling that once I burn it, I actually have not burned this one. Um, but I have a feeling once I burn it, it's going to like warm up a little bit and smell even more like tree and probably end up losing a little bit of that orange note. I will definitely update you guys when I do like my tour of like my tree and stuff and I have it burning. Um, or I'll just do like an individual review of it. But this is lovely. I'm so glad that I picked this one out out of all of like the tree scents that they had available. This really appealed the most to me. I also like the white wax. It's not very Christmassy, but um, but I thought the white just looked really clean and nice and, and I just love the smell. I think this is absolutely lovely. So um, since I tend to get my tree out towards the middle of November, I thought I'd include this. <laughs> as sort of the honorable mention for the fall candle picks. But again, like I said, a lot of these are going to take me into the holiday time. So this is really kind of a combination of the two. So those are my top five picks for you guys. Um, obviously, I don't have nearly as many because I don't tend to shop at Yankee Candle quite as frequently as I do at Bath & Body Works. So keep that in mind. Um, I will have the like holiday picks for Bath and Body Works coming up in the next few weeks. So look for that video coming up soon. And I hope that you guys enjoyed and let me know what your favorite um, fall picks are from Yankee Candle or even if you want to get into like the holiday, definitely let me know down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.